Hello, in this tutorial I want to show you how you can plot volumetric data in 3D. Here I want to plot an air mask using Matplotly. So let's start. First I read a sample using load mask function in which I load the mask using np.load. Then I read the mask and change its type to integer. To plot this mask, I need to import two modules, one of which is margin cube from SKImage and another one is poly 3 collection from MPL toolkits. I'm using these versions of Matplotlib and SKImage. In order to plot the 3D volume using Matplotlib, we have to use margin cube algorithm which creates a triangle mesh from our volume. Margin cube of SKImage gets the volume and the step size in voxels. I'll explain about the step size later. It returns verts, which are the special coordinates of mesh vertices, and faces, which are triangular faces. Then, we create a figure and add a subplot to it. Using the projection keyboard, Matplotlib understands that we are going to plot something in 3D. To create a collection of triangles, we use poly 3D collection. We can also set the color for this mesh using set face color. Then we add this 3D collection to our plot. Finally, we set view limit for all axes and show the plot. Let's run and see the results. You can use your cursor to see this volume from another point, but it's very slow because margin cube is computationally expensive. To handle this, we can set a larger step size, which yields faster but coarser results. Now I change it and let's run again and see what happens. As you can see, it becomes much faster but the result is very coarse. I think in the medical field, the best value for a step size is 1 since each voxel is very important. If you are using PyCharm and you can't see this plot interactively, go to Setting, Tools, Python Scientific and click here. I enable it now to see what is the difference. As you can see, the plot is not interactive anymore. Well, this is the end of this tutorial. If you found this video useful, please press like, and if you have any questions, just ask me. Thank you.